But right now it's time for your news by the numbers. There's no talking points. There's no talking heads. It's just the raw numbers. And tonight's number is 10. Over 10% of America's largest corporations paid 0% in taxes this past year. Yes, it is true. There are 57 separate companies listed on the S&P 500 index that paid 0% in taxes over the past years. These companies include both household names like News Corp and Verizon, and it also includes companies like Seagate, Public Storage, and on and on and on and on. Now, previously, previous analysis showed that a lot of these companies had a low, they had a low effective tax rates. Uh, they have a lower effective tax rate than many middle class families at home, and far lower, uh, lower one than the statuary, the statuary corporate tax. And that is because of what we call some very, very smart accounting. And I don't blame, I don't listen. I don't, and I'm going to make this very clear. I don't blame the companies for this. I blame our tax code and our politicians for this. And I get it. You're going to be like, oh, if we took money out of politics, I agree. Let's take money out of politics and there won't be these tax, these won't, there won't be these tax problems. But it, we have to have the political will. And our elected officials should go to Congress. They go to Congress to pass bills, to spend money, and to levy taxes. And they need to fix this tax code so people like this don't get away, so organizations can't get away with this. Um, and these companies are turning a 0% tax rate even though they're making profit, and that's because of, because of creating accounting. It's not really breaking the law. The corporate tax code allows companies to avoid tax liabilities even in years when they turn profit. Some companies, what they do, what they end up doing is, is they take this tax, they account for losses in previous years, and they spread out their losses through various years. Also, what other companies do is they put their some of their profits in offshore tax shelters in com in countries like the Grand Cayman, in Switzerland, and Ireland, on and on. Apple was one of those companies. Um, and tax dodging costs the United States government about three hundred billion dollars per year. That's a big number for you, big number. But if we get private money out of our politics, or our politicians are not influenced and altered and doctored by politicians, by uh, excuse me, by corporations, right? If we do that, number one. And number two, number two, and if we ask our politicians to make clear and real tax change, tax reform right now, there's no reason that the secretary in Grand Rapids, Michigan should pay more taxes than Verizon, no, percentage-wise. No reason.